Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Adventure Fishing UK. I'm fly fishing in the Lake District today, a place called Otter Tarn or Bigland, I'm not really sure. I've just joined a new fishing club, Windermere and Ambleside District Angling Association, so I'm really looking forward to this. I fished once here about 10 or 15 years ago with my dad, a long, long time ago, and I caught a nice rainbow trout, so I'm making a big return. I've not fly fished in a very long time, so my, uh, my skills are gonna be quite questionable, so if you do notice anything that I can improve on, let me know in the comments below, I'd really appreciate it. So for my rod, I'm using a new Rigged and Ready prototype. Rigged and Ready travel rods are bringing out an incredible new fly rod, which can be both a five weight and a seven weight. And I'm lucky enough to be able to use one of the um, prototype models. It's not officially out yet, but believe me when it is, you'll know about it. So I've got that. Um, I'm not gonna show you that in too much detail yet, just cause this isn't the final model, but I've just had a quick go with it and I can cast this far. It's a very, very good rod. As for the reel, I'm using a Vision Still Maniac set reel. This is a seven weight setup I've got on, seven weight floating green line. So hopefully you should be able to see the line propping up nice on camera. Not too sure what to expect today, but hopefully we'll catch a few fish. I really don't know if my skills are going to be up to it, but we'll soon find out. Now as for my choice of fly, I'll show you my very limited selection I've brought. I'm not really sure. I'm going to get down there. Someone's already down there fishing, so I might go have a chat with him and see what's working at the moment. But I'll show you the flies I've got now. I don't know. Maybe we'll try and match the hatch, as they say. Fish, fish on. Second cast. Second cast. Whoa. Good bit of beginner's luck there. <laughs> As if second cast, second cast, and this new fishing club. It's not a bad fish either. On your fly as well, thank you very much for that. Doesn't feel like a bad size either. how much I should bully this in really. Oh, thank you very much. So here I've just caught my first Lake District fly caught fish. Lovely rainbow trout, lovely size. Not going to keep this fish out of the water for long. Let's get it back. What a lovely sized rainbow trout. Look at that for a fish. Just give it a quick minute there, give it as long as it needs. Didn't get a weight on it, but maybe about three and a half pounds or something. What do you reckon? Well, that is a great example of why you should talk to people when you're out fishing if you don't know the water and if you don't really know what you're doing, as I don't. Talk to that guy, he told me about a good fly pattern. And I had a look in my box to see if there was anything similar and there wasn't so he just gave me one what a hero yeah it feels so good to be catching that first lake well not like I've caught a trout here before but only when I was really young first fly caught fish in ages let's see if we can get another Nicely done. Do you want me to come get the net for you? Are you all right? Yeah, right. Back onto the white one right you're on. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, quick these trout and acrobatic hard fighting fish as well put 
one up a fair scrap this one. <laughs> not careful. Thanks a lot. So I'm not going to get this other one out of the water just because it's similar size to the last. It's another big rainbow trout. Look at that for a fish. Absolute slab of a trout from a place like this. Well, what an action packed start to the day it's been. I've only been here about an hour. Already had two fish and lost one. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set my tripod up and take some, take a video of me casting just cause I really don't know what I'm doing. And I imagine some of you watching will. And if you could give me any advice, that'd be much appreciated. Fish on. I don't suppose you'd quick mind quickly netting this for me, would you? Oh, it's a Spartic. <laughs> I've been wanting to catch one of these for ages. I think it is, maybe it isn't. <laughs> oh, no way. It's putting up a good account of itself. Sorry, I should have maybe bullied it a bit more there. Yes! <laughs> Oh, it is as well. I'll unhook that in the water if you don't mind. Well, thanks a lot for that. Well, this could well be one of the most beautiful trout I've ever caught. Stock trout, at least. Very quickly unhooked it in the net. This is a Spartic trout. This is a cross between an Arctic char and a brook trout, I believe. Stunning colours. I'll show you them a bit closer up in a minute. Sorry, I'm going to take this fish out for a picture, but I just thought I'd give you a quick close up. Look at those colours. Absolutely stunning fish. Just keeping it very well rested first. I've been waiting a very, very, very long time to catch a fish like this and from the Lake District. A Lake District Spartic Trout. Let's get this fish back. Fish, first cast right after that. Spartic, whoa, that's a bigger rainbow. That's a bigger one. First cast after that fish, what an unbelievable day is fishing. Ah. So this is my biggest rainbow of the day, probably. Probably biggest fish of the day as well, actually. Not quite as pleased about this as I am the Spartic, but it's still, just lovely to be catching them. So this is the fly that just caught me all those fish. White beady, I believe it's called, not too sure. But yeah, this has been working an absolute treat so far. But I'm just gonna switch things up a bit. So time for a well-earned lunch. I think it's been, hour, well, about two hours of fishing. People, I'm, I'm fishing with about three other people just on this small little bit and everyone's catching fish. It's been a really good day so far. And I'm switching things up to a little green Montana. Not because I think this is going to give me a better chance than that white one, just because this is my granddad's favourite fly, so, or one of favourite flies, so this is what I'm going to be going for. More for purposes of sentiment over anything else. Right, first few casts of the green Montana. Come on. 
much smaller of a fly than what I've been using. I hope they can still see it and find it as easily. I'm not sure if that's a thing. It's been relatively productive fishing today, really productive actually, considering I've not fly fished in a long time. We've had quite a few and there's been loads rising, so I can tell this lake's fairly densely stocked full of trout, which is always good when you're a beginner like I am. Do you have to move a smaller fly slower or? I was going to say actually, with them Montanas, because they're more like a, a nymph rather than a fish swimming along. Yeah. It might be more of a... Just a tiny little, a little yeah. Bit of bait, just, just little twitches. Yeah. And then maybe just leave it static for a few seconds. Okay, thanks. Oh, as soon as I started doing that. It's off like a rocket, that one. Feels like a slightly better fish, this. My well, mine's running right the way over towards you, sorry about this. Whoa! <laughs> Crikey, this fish here feels like it could be my biggest of the day. This fish is properly fighting. So I thought that other rainbow I caught was big, but I think I may have just ever so slightly topped it with this one. Good to be catching another after lunch and on the green Montana as well. Very special fly to me, so oh, so pleased. Just look at the size of this rainbow trout. We'll get it rested and then we'll get it back. Now I was initially going to fully explore around all the islands on... Um, on this lake and just sort of have a walk around and see what it's like but just because i've been catching so many fish i've not been able to get away from this one spot so uh i'll come back and i'll do that for another video so if you're enjoying this so far please don't forget to like subscribe drop a comment let's see if we can get one more fish so i've achieved what i wanted to achieve with the green montana so now i'm swapping over to what i believe is called an orange fritz a favorite of mine and a bit of a family favorite historically so one last lure i've got about well fly slash lure i've got about 45 minutes let's see if we can get one more fish on this right orange fritz let's go let's see if we can get one on this and that'll just be a perfect end to a really good day's fishing i personally don't see a problem with taking trout out for pictures you might think differently but i think if you rest the fish, if you unhook it in the water, you rest the fish thoroughly before and after you've taken out for a photo, then it's absolutely fine. That's just where, where I stand on it. Fish. Whoa, whoa, what a jump on the orange fritz as well. It's taking me every, everywhere, this one.
just another lovely rainbow. The average size of these fish has just been incredible today. Didn't expect anywhere near the amount of fish I've had or this size or condition to be fair. They're all really hard fighting. Really nice, pristine fish. I'll even grab that, look at that. Well, it was good to catch on the orange fritz, but my GoPro actually ran out of charge just as I was about to get that fish. Oh! <laughs> and again. Another one. Whoa! Two fish and two casts on that now. Whoa! See that? Straight away on with another, another really good condition. Rainbow, look at the bend it's putting in my rod. My arm's gonna be tired tomorrow after all these trout. Not wanting to come in easy, this one. So it's another two in two casts. I've caught on exactly the flies I wanted to today. And they've all been nice fish. So impressed with this place as a fishery. Look at that. Yeah, another. I know these fish all basically look the same, but there are blue trout and tiger trout in here as well. So maybe I'll be able to get one of those if I'm lucky, but not got long left. Just found a little white Montana looking thing on the floor. Maybe I'll try and pop this on just to finish off. So I've crushed this barb down now. And funnily enough, my friend Mark, who I've just met fishing today, has also found the exact same fly on the floor near where I found this. So we're just gonna have a little competition, see who can catch one first on it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Missed one. <laughs> Might go for it again, mightn't it? So my GoPro is pretty much out of charge, but I've just hooked up on what about the third time I said was my last cast. So I, admittedly, I did say last cast about four times but this really was going to be my last cast on the montana hopefully i can land this fish the gopro probably isn't gonna la isn't gonna last oh come on not a bad fish this either So I hope it doesn't come off now. So there you can see the last fish of the day. Just get that fly out and I'll show you it a bit closer. What a way to finish the day off. Another big trout on a fly I found on the ground. Well, what a way to end the day. I've caught so many nice fish. It's been such a good, such a good reintroduction into fly fishing for me and in the Lake District as well. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I'll catch you down the road.